Server functions are defined with useServer and tells the framework, like Next.js, to generate a hidden post endpoint to a function. And this will allow us to call the serv that server code from a component, for example, from a client component. And it will simplify the communication across the server boundary while providing type safety using uh, RPC. The new form element is React's extension of the native HTML form, which builds on top of the existing methods. And this extension lets you create interactive controls for submitting information, as well as letting the action property call a function, for example, a server function. And the function pass will automatically be wrapped in a transition, contain a hidden form data argument with the values of the form, and in the case of a server function, be called as an HTTP post. Use form status is a hook that provides information about the last form submission. So it must be used inside a form and can be used, for example, to disable a button or display the inputted data while a form is submitting. It enables progressive enhancement because without JavaScript, the button will still work fine. It just won't display any pending feedback. Then we have use action state, and it's a hook that allows you to update state based on the result of an action. It also supports progressive enhancement because uh, it can allow the service response to be uh, returned without JavaScript and shown before hydration has completed. And it can be used, for example, to display error messages or um, other information returned uh, based on the return value. Lastly, we have use optimistic, which is a hook that lets you optimistically update UI while a background operation completes. And this will let you keep the UI snappy by providing instant feedback to interactions. It can be used, for example, with server functions and form submissions, but also with other potentially slow operations such as filtering based on route params. And this hook stands out because of its ability to seamlessly merge client and service state as the server finishes its update. <laughs> 